Alright, today we are taking on Storm Eagle, whose weakness is not Chill Penguin's weapon, but who cares. Underneath <coughs> Storm Eagle you'll see SPEC, which stands for Specifications, where we can see Storm Eagle's height and weight. If this, were, if this feature were in Mega Man 9, it wouldn't work for Splash Woman because of course her weight is classified information. Storm Eagle, I really like him, and I really like his stage because his music is really neat. I don't know why I'm talking fast. It's my birthday. I'm excited. Anyway, the first part of Storm Eagle's level demonstrates why it's not always good to be OCD about collecting all the power-ups. Because, in this case, there are three power-ups, <coughs> each of which is guarded by this Sniper Joe wannabe. I say wannabe, but he's a lot stronger. Um, each of which is behind these exploding barrels. Now, all three of them are those large energy capsules there. You'll notice I wouldn't have needed that if I hadn't gone to get it in the first place. That theme will continue all the way up this climb. Um, those barrels have like a logo on them, and I can't really figure out what the logo is supposed to be. When I was younger, I thought that that A there was actually an R, and so I thought it was Doctor. Uh, so I thought that this whole Maverick thing was actually Dr. Wily again. And after playing the first six Mega Man games, you can't really blame me. Now can you? And hit once more. And exploding barrels. Incidentally, I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. But um, shotgun ice takes down those barrels a little bit quicker. But you know, that whole section was so much fun. I just want to do it again. Whee! And we got our first heart container. Capsule. Whatever. It increases our health by a bit. Now, I left this in here to show you how much quicker it is to go up this part of the level if you don't worry about the power-ups. Um, you still don't need them. So I was just being kind of a loony by getting those. And then, that cannon there gets a headshot on me. That was pretty nice. Those guys, um have two attacks, and sometimes they only use one, it's kind of weird, but they use those missiles they used in the first stage with those electric shocks. I feel compelled to mention too with these fire cannons here, which are a really cool idea, uh, that if you use shotgun, I should take them out a lot quicker too. Breaking into the control tower, we get our first sub-tank, and then we can slaughter an enemy for no reason to break open the control tower. Yay for mind mindless slaughter. Sub-tanks are like the E-tanks from the Mega Man series, except they're permanent. They don't go away when you use them, but you have to fill them up. And they don't come pre-filled. I was going to say just like your mother, but I don't really see how that would make sense. Um, so yeah, one of the neat things to try to find the X series are good places to fill your sub-tanks quickly, because you'll need them. Probably. Anyway, more fun platforming, ahoy. Don't really know what to say about it. Aside from my horrible, crippling lack of accuracy with this X-Buster, I don't know what's gotten into it. Over here, we get more exploding barrels, behind which is not, thank goodness, another energy capsule. Well, I kind of need it, but not really. We just get ourselves a 1-Up. Yay for 1-Ups. And up ahead is the most useless upgrade in the entire X series. It makes me sad. Because not only is it useless, but it makes X look really, really dorky. Uh, so it's just a battle around. I only get it because I'm kind of a completionist. But this music's still rocking. I realized too, I was being kind of dumb for being quiet during the cutscenes because it's not like they're voiced. I don't know what I was thinking. Kind of losing it around here. But yes, the whole point of this upgrade is to headbutt blocks like the ones above. With that helmet. I used to think those like little dots on the side were supposed to be his ears or something, which made it look all the dorkier. The reason this is so useless is because there is, to the best of my memory right now, one place in the entire game where you have to headbutt. And the stinker of it all is that that place is to get another upgrade. There are a couple of other places that have breakable blocks um, like on the walls instead of the ceiling. 
And you can break those if you have the dash boots, which you'll probably have to have to get anywhere in this game anyway. So, after a useless upgrade, but a heart tank and a sub tank, we move on to the ship. And then get shot in the face by a missile. For some reason I thought you could blow those up. There's a secret here if you jump kind of off the right side of the ship. You can get filled up for the Storm Eagle fight. And if you notice too, this is the same airship from uh, the intro stage. Also a nice touch. It's going up. I just thought that was worth noting. So. As mentioned in the specifications thing, Storm Eagle has a few attacks. This is not one of the ones mentioned. His gimmick is he tries to blow you off the side of the ship. And he dives. You can hit him when he dives if you're quick enough. Uh, he also has a habit of just kind of floating in the air. It's kind of hard to reach him there. And that is Storm Tornado, which doesn't hurt you here. But the whole reason we're here instead of moving on to the guy who's weak to this chill penguin's weapon, is because I really like Storm Tornado. Uh, he has one more we er, yeah, one more attack, which I try to get him to show. My goal during this talkthrough is to show you all of the Maverick's attacks, but this gets me into trouble occasionally. Like with Spark Mandrel. I think I'd, the first time I died in this talkthrough is to Spark Mandrel. There we go. He also reproduces Storm. Um, to Spark Mandrel because I was waiting on him to do one attack. For those birds, you can jump over them, <clears throat> or you can just shoot them. Either one. They're just kind of a minor annoyance. Neat touch too, now the airship is crashing. This actually becomes important later. That's kind of the neat thing about Mega Man X, but I'll expand on that more later. So we get Storm Tornado out of this, which is great for. You can't see it there, it's kind of dumb. But, um,. It's great for taking down big enemies. Anyway, see y'all next time.